And good Sunday afternoon for me to everyone, uh, I believe. Get everybody in chat. Who do we have? Oh my goodness, we have got 12 of you already in chat. That's amazing. Let's see. Uh, do me a favor in chat. Let's make sure that everything is working fine. You should have heard music, for instance. You should be hearing the sound of my voice. Everything looks good. You should be seeing me, which you may or may not be uh, happy about that. Uh, but it looks like, yeah, it looks like everything is going well today so far, so far. Uh, for those of you who follow along regularly, uh, Jamie knows that uh, uh, or Jamie responded to me earlier that uh, we have some folks outside working on fiber in our community. Let's hope that they hang out and uh, don't mess with our fiber today. So uh, we, we need this stream to go through. We want to go through without a hitch. We're going to see if we can get at least through one, but I've already noticed one little quirk that's bothering me, and I'm going to leave it to you. As you look at the screen, see if you can figure out one little quirk that's bothering me right now, but I am not going to mess with it because if I start messing with stuff, it's going to break. So uh, again, there's your, there's one of your uh, goals for today is to find out what, what's that little nitnoid thing that is bothering me right now because of my OCD with all this. Also, notice I have a poll. Go to the top of the chat, you'll find a poll, and I want to know about your experience using an Atari 400. As you all know, I'm a Commodore guy, grew up with Commodores. I have never touched an Atari computer, whether it was a 400, 800, what is the other one? They have 130XE, uh, and then what did they do? They went to the, uh, the uh, oh man, Jamie got it, the lens flare. Yes, it is bothering me to no end. As a matter of fact, it's right under the words lens flare. See that little guy right, oh man, it is just... It's, it's coming off this light right here. I know it because I can see how I see, see, I can, I can modify it. Uh, but we're going to leave it because I'm not going to move that light. I did move some lights around, but I didn't think to check my camera. So I'll get those. I'm, I'm still working on things. Things are going good, but that is exactly right. Congratulations. You get the door prize for today, which is absolutely nothing. So let's see who we have in the room today. While I'm checking on the room, uh, again, be sure that you, let me go ahead and get this down here. Be sure that you take our poll up top. We'll come back and look at that. Let's see, Jamie, of course, I think Jamie was first on the, uh, uh, I haven't seen uh, Landfill, Mr. Landfill today. So it looks like Jamie, you win the prize for the very first chat in the chat window today. Congratulations. It looks like we have Taro is here. Jamie's with us. Xander is here with his good morn, noon, night, e uh, pff, see I messed it up. Good morn, noon, eve, night. There we go. Retro Combians. Thank you for that. Uh, Xander always coming in for the win on that one. Uh, Evil Jay's here. Good to have you here, Evil Jay. Let's see. Uh, who else popped in here? Taro. We talked about Martin. Hey, Martin's here. Good to see you, Martin. Uh, glad to have you uh, with the stream today. We have uh, Xander saying the keyboard on the Atari Mini Pick looks very hard to use. The membrane, yeah. So the the Atari Mini keyboard, from my understanding, does not work. But I am I bet somebody's going to hack that thing eventually. I'm just waiting on that. Heinz is here. Hey, good to have you here, Heinz. Uh, thanks for popping in today with us. Uh, and let's see, Evil J, Xander, Taro, Xander, Jamie. Uh, let's see, cartridge. Oh, it's a Xander says cartridge to play discs and tapes. Uh, oh, here we go. Taro says, didn't even know about the 400, 800 back in the day. The 800 XL was the first Atari 8 bit I've come across with. Uh, and then Jamie says they're built like tanks. I got a big chunk of aluminum. Uh, yeah, I really, I, I really would like, I think, to have an 800. I'm not sure I want a 400, although just the, I want to see how bad that membrane keyboard really is. Let's see, uh, Taro had a 65 XE for some time. It's my only boxed vintage computer. Oh, I bet that's a beautiful looking little guy then. Uh, my first Atari, Martin says, was an Atari 1040 ST, uh, which are kind of interesting, the whole ST lines. Um, I've, the Falcon is one I'm really interested in, but I know that's like unobtainium, right? Uh, I miss Mislov. Oh, Mislov's not here yet? He'll be here eventually, hopefully. Uh, we'll get him in here. Wonder Dog is here. It's good to have you here, Wonder Dog. Thanks. Uh, and Wonder Dog is confirming that everything is working perfectly, as is Jamie with the 10 by 10 except for the lens flare that will drive me bonkers every time I look down. So I'll just, I'll, 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 I'm going to put a piece of tape on my screen so I don't see it. Uh, so we'll do that. Um, let's see. Yeah, yeah. like the original 2600s, they wanted it to pass RF tests. That's for sure. Yeah, with the aluminum case. Hey, Gabor's here. Uh, Gabor, good to have you here. Thanks for popping in. Gosh, just a good group of the regulars today. So this is perfect. Let's see. Uh, white strip on left. Oh, there is a white strip on the left side. Look at this, guys. Right here. Woo, right here. Yep, I'm going to have to work on that too. So these are all things 
right in here, I'm gonna to have to work on. Now see, I didn't notice that, but now I'm gonna notice that and that's gonna drive me nuts. Thank you for that wonder dog. So now we've got all kinds of issues. I know what this is coming from too. This is coming from this uh, feature set that I built in here that gives me the, the ability to, if I can pop back here, to do things like, uh, I think it's this, like this. Uh, and so it's, yeah, I've got, to, I've got to figure out how to get rid of that. I'm not sure what's going on. Let me clear that for us. Uh, but I do need to work on that. There's still lots of quirks I'm trying to figure out here and learn how to use all this stuff. I want to simplify. That's my goal. But I'm, every time I try and simplify, it seems like I'm making things harder. So that's where we are with this. Yep, white strip uh, is just like a C64. Yeah, there it is. Let's see. I think I've got some additional stuff going on here. Wonder Dog says... Um, I literally never saw an Atari 8-bit in the UK. I don't think they were very popular. I was reading the book, um, I think it was, uh, what is it, um, the computers that, not the computers that made UK or whatever, but something like that. And I don't believe, I think the Atari ST was the only thing listed in there. Uh, spot at the bottom of the middle, yep, there's that. Uh, we got that one. Uh, add a banner over the spot. That's what I need to do. Yeah, just pop the banner right over the, well, act, yeah, right over the spot. Yeah, that would take care of it. We're going to leave it, guys. We'll be okay. I will work through this, okay? Uh, 800XL was the best. I bet it was. I, I, that's the one I'm interested in. Uh, we only ever saw the 8 bits in the last 10 years in the UK. Interesting. Uh, and then, uh, are you using a VIC-2 chip for the streaming <laughs> since there's a white strip? I must be. And expect, you know, gel bars to start coming across here like the Commodore 128 in just a little bit, too. We can we can expect all those kind of quirks. Yeah, what is That's just going to drive me bonkers. Now, you guys had to point that out, didn't you? Everything was fine except for this little guy until you decided to point that out. Look at this. I'm getting really good at pointing to them, though. So that's good. There's a there's a perk or a plus. Uh, Wonder Dog, it was all Spectrum, C64s, and CPCs, and Electrons. All right. So thank you all for joining. I do have quite the agenda for the day. Look at this. We got, I've been, I've been really, uh, I tried to prepare a little bit today so that you guys would have some structure to this thing. And we're going to, we're going to try and work on that and try and keep us on track. We got a lot to do today. I do want to get you updated on a couple of things though. Let me, uh, let me go down for those of you who, uh, saw my ad hoc live stream last week. Ooh, I've got doubles here. I need to get off doubles. Hold on just a second. Let me go. There we go. Uh, you don't need double of me. That is for sure. But if you were watching my ad hoc live stream last week, you know that I'm working on, uh, the Vic 20 case, uh, by, uh, my retro computers. It's over there. I'm not going to dig it out because it's back all nice in a box. And I'm trying to figure out how to connect the keyboard to the mini PC that I have gutted out of a case and shoved in there, which was just amazing. It worked with a single screw. I think I'm going to leave it that way because it's, it actually seems to be working, but we were wondering how we were going to get the keyboard, which had a, uh, a five pin motherboard header on it to work with that because that didn't have it. So I found this little guy right here. Uh, this is, uh, I ordered these and uh, you get, I was going to order one, but they gave me a bunch of, uh, there were several of you that gave me a, th a, a thanks or a super chat at the time and said, just buy the two, Stephen, don't be cheap. And so you guys paid for this. So I thought I would share this. I will be trying this out probably this week to see if it works. I might even do an ad hoc live stream through the week. Now that's wild, isn't it? If I can find some time, I do know that if it doesn't happen this week, it's not going to happen because next week I've got something every night going on. So uh, that's going to keep me busy, but I really am anxious to get that keyboard working and trying that out. So that's one little thing that we got. We finally have, I'll throw that over there on the table. So that's good to go. Uh, looking forward to that. And then we do have the latest version of uh, this little guy, Zap64. So let's get that open. And because my address is all over this thing, I'm not gonna share this right now on live, but let me see if I can get it out of here. Actually, I, don't, I think we can probably do that. Uh, yeah, this is just their address. So let me give you top down on here. Whoa, top down's not on. That's not good. I thought I turned that on. Here we go. Hang on. Boom. There we go. All right. And we'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's going on this month with Zap64. The other thing I, I've been thinking about with Zap64, why can't I open this? I'm going to, all right, is... Every month, this comes with something called cover mount, which includes a bunch of software. One of these days, I am going to demonstrate that as part of the live stream. So here we go. Here is the edition of Zap64 that we're going to look at. Here, here's the latest edition. It seems a little thinner. I guess that's about right. Uh, this is number 18, January, February 2024. This has been here since 
Uh, it's been here a couple of weeks. As a matter of fact, it's been here as long as the Atari 400 has been here. And you know how hard it is to keep the Atari 400 Mini in a box like that and save it for the live stream? Yes, that's right. I saved it just for all of you. Just for you so that we can open it together. And oh my goodness, Anders coming in with the win. Uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, that is so nice of you to uh, send me a super chat, Xander. Thank you so for the Retrocomians Retro Fund, which is, I'm taking all that and I'm putting it into that My Retro. So there's a, I, I do know there's a couple other things I'm going to need to purchase for that. So thank you, Xander, for that. I will add that to the coffers of that project. Much appreciated, sir. Thank you for that support. And also thanks for always being a, a great participant in our chat. Uh, these old uh, Ataris, uh, because they show off J miners, yeah, they do, don't they? Uh, did you get the USB adapters in the mail? There you go. Got the, uh, yes, I got those. You talking about Wonder Dog? You yes, those, um, yeah, the mail, UPS, whatever, you know, UPS had delivered those. There are reproduction membranes for the ZX81, so it should be a matter of time. Yeah, I agree. That should be something that's coming. I tried the Logitech K400 wireless with my 400 mini, didn't work. It'll probably only work with wired ones. That is true. Maybe we've got a wired one around here we can plug in when we get to it. Got my first Spectrum Next Magazine in the post actually this week. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, got you. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, I have the digital issue of Next and Paper One is on the way. I really, I you know, I really dig this magazine. I'm actually behind. I have not finished the last one, but this, so let's see, uh, as, as you know, I was a little disappointed the last time because there, I believe it was the last one. Yes, there was not a Mega 65 update. So uh, let's see what we have in here just quickly. Again, we don't spend a whole lot of time, but it gives you a chance to kind of see. So here's the, the cover mount madness. Again, there's a, a software pack or a, a zip file of software that you can download and it's their monthly cover mount. I need to do one of those during a live stream so you can see what that's like. So that'll be the feature of a live stream. If you think that's something you would be interested in, put that in chat down below and let me know. Uh, or if you're watching this afterwards, put it in the comments and say, hey, yeah, I would like to see some of the cover mount files and see, but that really adds to the subscription. This thing is so cheap anyway, what, considering what you get and the, the fun of this magazine. I just love this magazine. Oh, we do have a Mega 65 corner. There you go. Mega 65 corner is back. Let's go ahead and uh, we will, let's see what else we have. We have uh, Zap64 files, a developer diary, a radar, centerfold, which for Americans, that's really hard for me to read because that looks like centrefold. Um, so uh, we'll, 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 we'll not get into that whole discussion. Uh, get loaded, ad adventure, strap on your backpack, we're off. Book look, does Project Hubbard hit the right note? Some really cool stuff. Hey, this looks like a good one. Let's go to page 35 and see what they are covering in the world of Mega 65. I'm so glad this section is back. I was a little concerned about it. Mega 65 production status. We do know that the next batch is getting ready to be released. Uh, the Ghost of Blackwood Manor has been released. Ooh, I need to reach out to uh, Stefan and see if he wouldn't mind sending one to the channel so that we can try. Uh, what is this? Is this a, this is another one of his adventure games looks like. Uh, yes. So I should check with Stefan and see if he's interested in, uh, he sent a, his other titles to the channel so that we could take a look at them. SIGGRAPH ASIA 2023, there was evidently a demo, a four SID tune uh, demo. Wow, that sounds, I'll have to check and see if I have access to that. That's probably on the files hub if we want that. And then uh, this is good, Discover XMU, the Mega 65 emulator, which just gets better and better. Uh, they added recently, just added a feature, which I love, if you copy code, uh, before you could go in and paste it, but you could only paste it up to the screen size. Now you can copy it and it types it in there for you. So it's a great way to move code quickly over if you need to do that. Kind of like Vice in the way that it does it. So that's pretty cool. So there you go. There is the latest issue of Zap64. And again, if you're not subscribing to this, I highly recommend it. Uh, it is just a load of fun to read. It does harken back to the days of the magazines, if not in a smaller form factor, which actually I prefer. I love the small form factor. So oh, here's our uh, Zap64 12 months out. That's really cool. So I highly recommended folks. If you're not reading it, why aren't you reading this? Why aren't you reading this? Tell me why you're not reading this. Maybe, maybe you just not in love with that like I am, but I, I do love this. All right, let's see what we have going on here. Going back to my agenda. Let's see, have we done that? We've done that. Uh, we've kind of covered that. We've covered that. We've covered that. And uh, by the way, if you've not filled out our poll, please pop in and do that. 
Um, oh, we already did that. What am I doing? Clear. Uh, let me get out of here. Let's see what our poll says so far. It looks like there's only 13. Wow, 13 of you have voted and we're at 100% no. Now, this is bad for me because what this means is I have no nobody with some experience out there who's going to be able to help me through this this device I've never used. So this this could be a lot of fun. This could be really, really interesting. So if you've not voted yet in the poll, please do. As soon as we see that first yes, just be prepared. We're probably going to bombard you with questions. So uh, keep that in mind. Let me check and make sure things are still rocking and rolling here. Looking good. Hey, we got uh, 16 viewers. We got nine likes. We know what that means, folks. You need to get out there and start liking it. Let people know this is online. Hey, go ahead and share the link and let folks know that we're online too. Getting ready to unbox the Atari 400 Mini. By the way, what'd you think of that thumbnail? Uh, that is a mix of a, I had the, uh, I had the, I had, you ready? I had the AI create the backdrop for me and then I added all the other stuff. I love the backdrop. I thought that was pretty cool. Speaking of AI and before I dig into this or while I'm getting prepared to dig into this, I did have the opportunity, uh, it's been almost two weeks now. No, two, yeah, two weeks. Yeah, something like that, yeah. It will be. Uh, I had attended uh, the opportunity to, uh, and that's this is part of the paying gig to attend Google Cloud Next in Las Vegas for three full days of AI. It was fabulous. I uh, it was definitely the best conference, professional conference I have ever attended. They had a great floor full of vendors talking about AI and how they're using AI. A lot of focus was on AI assistance and a lot of focus on using AI in Google Workspace, which there's some amazing stuff coming out if you're a Workspace user with AI. I am not shy to let people know that I have been playing with AI. I've been using AI. I've got my own, and this is pretty cool, while I was there, I sat through training that showed you how to use Google's Vertex AI Studio to create a custom AI. I have created a Mega 65 AI that I've been using to help me with the uh, Mega 65 User's Guide series. And what's really great about it, 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 has, it has all the entire Mega 65 book. I fed it a lot of additional information, set some parameters as I was creating that in that Vertex AI Studio. And even yesterday, I, I had a question. I couldn't find the answer quickly in the manual. Typed in my, uh, my prompt, boom, threw the answer out. It was perfect. So I'm going to continue to feed it more Mega 65, but it's really getting good at Mega 65 stuff. I did have it try and create a program, and there were a couple of misses, uh, but they were simple things for me just to fix. So that was really cool. So I am... Um, Pretty, I'm pretty bullish on uh, on AI right now and what it can do for us. Uh, of course, I'm also a little leery, but man, for the hobby, the stuff that we do, it's great. So I'll, I'll not talk any more about AI, but if you're interested in sharing your experiences on AI as it can support the retro computing hobby, put that down in chat. I'd love to know your thoughts about that. Speaking of chat, let's go back in here before we unbox and get caught up. Oh, I've got the mini. I thought the poll was for the original four. Oh, yeah, no, it, it is for the original 400. But hey, since I know you have the mini tarot, uh, you might be able to help me through some things uh, because uh, I'm sure I will struggle with some of these. Uh, not I, I'd like to try uh, to go, but don't know if it will happen. I did book the room for, oh good. Um, anyone else get their tickets for VCF Southwest? Yeah, we, I won't be going, uh, Evil J, I will not be going to Southwest. Uh, that's one I have not attended, but like uh, Jamie, uh, we'll both be at Midwest. So looking forward to that. I assume the principles of the Atari line of the 400, 600, 800, 1200, 65 are all the same. I would assume that too. I sure hope so. So would love to attend a VCF someday. The biggest hurdle is the Atlantic Ocean. Start swimming, man. Start swimming now and we can get you here maybe by the Midwest, which is in September. All right, Tara? So get to swimming. All right. Let's see. Now, let's let's do that thing that we like to do, which is, or I like to do it. Let me, here, here are our views for the day. We can do a top down. We can do a desk view, which I can zoom in a little bit. Uh, so what do you prefer? You want me to do the unboxing in the top down, which is here, or the desk, which is here? 
Darn water. I know water just gets in the way of everything, right? Uh, I go to the Southwest because it's just, oh, that's, that's nice. Yeah. That handy. Well, and that's for, that's the, that's what it is for Jamie and I for Midwest. I wouldn't say just, just down the road, uh, but it is, you know, it's a four hour or less drive north. So that's easy. I mean, we went to the world of Commodore, which is about an eight hour drive and I felt like that wasn't too bad either. So, uh, all right. So what do you like? You like uh, the desk view for the unboxing or you want the top down? Now I am going to hit record right now because I do want to record this unboxing. Okay. So I'm recording all cameras now. It's getting me this one. It's getting them all. So, uh, and because I may do some, I may do some uh, shorts or something on it later. I've just found that I just need to record stuff. I don't see a preference. So we're going to start here and uh, we'll go here. And then if we feel like we need a good top down view, we will do this. So let's go ahead and grab, I wonder where Ms. Loff is. I, Ms. Loff, uh, we miss him. I, it looks like uh, Jamie's our only wrench today. So Jamie, uh, congratulations. You are the uh, executive producer for the win today. Uh, if Spirit has cheap flights to get me close, I can get some ground transportation. Yeah, there you go. Spirit, uh, uh, man, but you got to fly Spirit all the way there. That would be hard. Top Cam. Oh, Evil J wants the Top Cam. Um, good company, makes for good road trips. Oh, yes, thank you, sir. I agree. Yeah, we, we have a lot of fun when we hit those road trips. All right, everybody wants the Top Cam. Okay, well, I've got, I've got, I have consensus on Top Cam. All right, here we go. We're back to here, so we'll do this. I am going to zoom out just a little bit just a little bit there we go and let's see if i can get my keyboard out of the way here so you don't have to look at the uh the keyboard and uh here's my little trackpad we'll move that out of the way and then we'll get this uh, little cable out of the way there we go now we've got a fresh clean slate now here we go now this is exactly as it came in the mail right here guys uh minus the label which i peeled off there all right so let's go ahead and see what we have here uh, if you have an Xbox or PS2 controller handy, that'll unlock some Easter eggs for the mini. I do not have one handy. Well, that would be that would have been good to know. Maybe a follow-up video will, ex will explore that. Uh-oh, I'm already seeing. Looks like there's a little sheet in here. It's gonna have my address in it. Oh, I got that out in time. Let's see. Yes, it did. It had my address. So there we go. We'll do a little shipping. Now I I bought this when they were uh, first available to everybody. Um, I looked. The Atari they were out of stock. Uh, retro games, I think you can order them from there. And I, I failed uh, to check to see if they're available at Amazon yet. For some reason, I'm thinking they're not. Uh, I will put links, and I have not done a good job link with the links in the video description, but as soon as this is over uh, and I get my run done. By the way, we got a cold spell here. It's I'm going to put my winter stuff back on for the run. Regardless, I will get some links down there below for everybody, uh, some of the things that we talk about today. So I'll make sure and do that. All right, let's see what we get here. All right, so you're getting the full unboxing experience, folks. This is this is me for the very first time getting this thing. So there we go. Let's clean up our desk here a little bit and get that out of here. I have more boxes. I, I tell you, I recycle more, more cardboard, much to the chagrin of the lovely accountant who says, quit bringing cardboard in here, boxes, uh, because she knows every time uh, there's a box, there's something for the channel, right? Uh, so let's see. Um... Wired need me to uh, need me to run to the front porch. No, we're good. We're, we're okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Fortress of Solitude North Pole. Are those games I need to play? Is that what, you, what we're hearing? Hey, Dave's here. Hey, Dave. Uh, thanks for joining us. Good, good to have you here. Appreciate you popping in. Xander's giving a, a nice greeting. So everybody greet Dave and welcome him. So he'll hang around with us. Uh, let's see. We have. Let me just check. Uh, we've got almost twenty of you. All right. Uh, we only got nine likes, though. Come on, guys. We only got nine likes. Let's do this. All right, so let's go ahead and get it out of the plastic wrap here. That'll get rid of some of the shiny. Oh, this is nice. I do do like this. All right, this is pretty cool. Let me zo I'll zoom in here just a little bit more for you. There we go. That's a little bit better. So here is 25 classic Atari 8-bit games. Looks like we're going to get a, the uh, traditional CX-40 joystick, but my understanding is, yeah, there it is. There's eight additional buttons. There's a lot of buttons on this thing. So we'll do that. Uh, this is the game. This And I put this in the video description. This is the one I'm looking forward to the most. Uh, I remember Star Raiders on the, I believe, 2600. I never had a chance to play Star Raiders 2. I love uh, that we have Lee. Uh, can't call it Bruce Lee, evidently. The Bruce Lee family has not sanctioned that, so we just call it Lee now. 
uh, which I, I don't understand. We have millipede instead of centipede. Uh, is that mule? What is that? Yeah, I think that's mule. And my, my under yeah, it says right there, mule. My understanding is this version of mule is broken. So I did download a corrected version. Uh, and if we get time, we'll, we might see if we can pop that on a USB joystick and uh, see if we can fix that. So we'll take that. Uh, let's see, we also have minor 20, is it 24? Yeah, it's 2049. I almost said 2249. Okay, let's see what else we have on the box here. Here's all of our, there you go. You can scan a code if you want to do that. We won't spend any time on this. Uh, we have, uh, here's the contents. We have the 400 mini. We have the CX stick. So that's the official name, the CX stick. Okay, we need to remember that. Oh, we do have another HDMI cable. You know, I do like that folks include HDMI cables, but man, I'm getting a bunch of these things and I won't need it. We'll be plugging into the capture card. And then here are our games. We have Airball, Asteroids, Basketball. Now I love Basketball in the 2600. I'm sure this is a little bit of an upgrade. Battlezone, Berserk, Boulder Dash, Bristles, never heard of it. Capture the Flag, I know the, I know the game. I don't know the game, the electronic game. Centipede, Crystal Castles, know that one for sure. Electric Glide, don't know that one. Uh, Encounter, uh, seems familiar. Flip Flop, Henry's House, nope, not a clue. Uh, Hover Bover, Hover Bover, never, don't know. Lee, we just talked about. Millipede, we know. Miner, Mule, Missile Command, of course, we know about that one. O'Reilly's Mine, The Seven Cities of Gold, there it is. Star Raiders, Wavy Navy, and Yomp, no clue, never heard of it. Oh, AC adapter not included. Holy cow. Oh, yeah, I've got plug in right here. Whew, almost forgot. Almost thought I did not have that ready for us. All right, let's see. What do we have? And then these are all the systems that it w is compatible with. So looks like the Atari uh, 400, 800. Uh, this would be the XL, XE. Interestingly, it does play 5,200 games. Uh, so interestingly, though, it does not do 2600 games, and that's probably because they don't want it to compete with their Atari 2600. But the Atari 2600 plays 5200 games. So, and I believe the Atari, yeah, if I'm right, the the uh, the recreation of the Atari only plays 7800s and 2600. So now, if you need the 5200, you have this device. So you need two devices to get all three of those. That's kind of interesting. Okay, let's see. Uh, and here's our features. So emulates. The ones that we just talked about, uh, rewind up to 30 seconds of gameplay. I hear that's pretty cool. Uh, multiple scaling options and CRT. We'll see that a little bit when we hook it up. Play games within one of 12 attractive frames. Now that's different. The other, the other models didn't include that. And when I say other models, I mean the A500 and the C64. Okay, and then finally, on the front, there we go. How about that? Let's see what you guys are chatting about in here while we look at the lovely box we have uh people welcoming dave that's good the uh the uh, the atari vcs controller will work too for the easter eggs oh i have that somewhere i do have that somewhere i don't know how handy it is but i do have that somewhere uh the new vcs yep i understand uh i believe it's over there maybe maybe i think i can see it right over there maybe we'll grab that here in a minute i am going to take a little bit of a break uh, in between here and i can grab a few things so maybe that'll be good uh seven city uh seven cities of gold is also great times that sounds like a i don't remember playing that for sure i read there were a lot of issues with the joystick oh no that's not good i hope there's not a lot of issues with mine or is that just a in general joystick. Uh, 5200 was based on, oh, I did not know that. See, thank you, Wonder Dog. This is why I love the chat because I learned things. That would explain a lot about why it is compatible with this, but it isn't with the other. Wonder who that designer at Atari was that said to heck with it. We're going to, <laughs> we're going pastel Easter egg on this. I know uh, it is, it is kind of a, I like it though. It kind of works. I tried to do that with the backdrop for the thumbnail of this video. Uh, the 7800 was an evolution of the 26. That makes sense. Uh, the joystick is a bit finicky. Great. That's what we need on game machines is a bad joystick. Uh, Yomp is a classic. Really? Is it Yoomp? Yomp? Yoomp? Yoomp? Yoomp maybe is a classic? I don't know. Um, I suppose it was mild 2000s. Uh, gosh, I just don't remember that. Uh, mid. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mid 2000s. That makes more sense. Okay. Uh, all right. So... Let's go ahead and uh, let's open up the box here. We get our, oh, just just in case, there you go. There, there's the box. All right, I know some of you said you didn't want that view, so we're going in. All right, here we go. Let's see if we got our little tab here. We're just, ooh, man, I got tape all over my little Mislav knife here. Mislav is with us in spirit because we're using the knife he sent me all the way overseas just so I would have a knife for unboxing. It'll always be a part of the channel. He'll always, his spirit will always be here. 
<laughs> All right, let's go ahead and pull this open. All right, so nice boxing. The box is nice here. All right, oh, very cute, very, very cute. Okay, let's go ahead. We're gonna start with the joystick here. Let me go ahead and get this guy out. Uh, I think the report issues with the joystick, it was reading diagonals if you push in one direction too hard. Oh, wow. Oh, that could be bad then. Uh, it feels, feels like a traditional CX-40. I mean, in every manner. I mean, that even feels. You can probably hear this. Yeah, it's got that sound. Here's our button. Good sound, yeah. Got the traditional button sound that we're all used to. Does have uh, some feet on the bottom to keep it from slipping and sliding if you wanna do one of these maneuvers. I've never played like that. It's always like this. You gotta play like this, right? So your hand cramps. I mean, that's that's the, you gotta hold it just right to get the cramping hand. Uh, just a little bit of a disappointment. I know these are USB, but I, I sure do miss the nine pin dens. I just do. And then uh, we have buttons here and then buttons on the ring. Hear that? So there are extra buttons. This doesn't push down or anything, does it? Nope. And so that's the joystick. So that's a standard CX-40 joystick plus with all the little extra things on it. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit here. There we go. And let's go ahead and I'm glad we have the little cover because I, I like the, to use the covers when I display these. I like to keep the cover on the device. Man, this is, this is you know what? This is just too cute. I'm sorry. This is just too cute. And we're gonna zoom back in right here check that out i'm hopeful that this will uh, turn on but man wouldn't it have been cool if they could have just activated those somehow i know it would have been a pain in the neck but it seems like that would have been so cool even if you had to do it but i can you know this it's not small enough that i couldn't use especially if you're using it for again i wouldn't want to program on it but that's pretty cool so uh my understanding is this does not yep yeah, this is not and that's a, i think that's a miss too i think they should have had that something so maybe you could store a usb drive in there that would have been really been nice be able to open that put your little usb drive that you could plug in here for additional games that would have been super sweet to have done that and i don't think it would have taken too much it eh, probably would have driven up the cost a little bit i get it uh, but not enough that I would worry about it. On the back, we have USB, HDMI. I do like that it's USB-C for power. And then we have our switch. There we go, so you can hear that. Standard stuff. Got our grill on the bottom. Looks like I have 3,002. I, that seems like a high number. Uh, I like it, I wish, that, I wish I'd gotten 3,000. That would have been cool. We do have feet on the bottom so that it doesn't move around. So that's pretty stable. And then on the front, we have our USB controller. This is where our CX-40 is going to plug in. Looks like you could have up to four of them for four player games. That could be a lot of fun. Could be a lot of fun like that. Okay, let's go ahead and put these up here to the side. Let's go ahead and replace our little cover for now. Let's see what else we have in our box right here. Let's go ahead and pull this out. We have a manual right here. The Atari 400 Mini Start Guide. So we will keep that, and I know normally, traditionally, I am not the manual guy, but we are gonna keep this close today for you. Uh, I think there is a, a more robust manual online that you can download. Uh, that is available if you wanna learn more about it. I, I have downloaded that and sent that to my uh, Kindle scribe. I do plan to read that, but we'll keep that to the side here. And I would assume that inside here is gonna be all of our accessories. So let's go ahead and clean up a little bit. Let's go ahead and put this and we'll just set this here for now. And then I'll be back in chat here in just a minute, guys, see how you guys are doing. But let's get through this box right here. And let's go ahead and see what's inside. This should be just a few things. Yeah, we have two cables. Two cables inside this box. And the cables that are included, as mentioned earlier. I, now, this I do like. This is cool. I do like that these are color coded because I'm pretty sure I've never had a USB-C cable that is this color and check it out. It has the little Atari logo on it. Check that out. How sweet is that? That's pretty cool. Uh, and again, it color matches nicely with the device. Uh, and looks like they have done the same thing with HDMI. Do you think Atari is on the cables on the HDMI? 
Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, this one is, yes, it does. Check it out. Atari branded HDMI cable. Now that is really nice. Uh, the color looks a little bit different though. I don't, can you tell that? See that? The colors are not exactly the same. Uh, so obviously different vendors uh, and they tried to get it as close as they could, but still a fine compliment to the Atari 400 Mini. So there you go, guys. There's everything you get with the Atari 400 Mini. And that concludes this live stream, this Retro Combs live stream. No, no. You want me to connect it? Do you? <laughs> Did I get you? I didn't get you at all. You knew I couldn't go without plugging it in, right? But before we do that, let's go ahead and uh, let's get caught up on chat here. Uh, I also want to see, uh, oh, there we go. We got 24 folks watching. We got 13 likes. We're getting there. Uh, so thank you for uh, popping online, those of you who just popped in. I think the report issue with the joystick is it reading diagonals if you push in one direction. I already said that. Well, no, very cute. Yes, it is cute. Uh, the box is a nice throwback to the uh, old Atari boxes. Thank you, Evil Jake, because I, again, don't know what those look like. So, um, and Retro Games really does a good job with that type of thing, the packaging. It's the, the packaging is good. I mean, it's not Apple level packaging or any premium brand, but it is perfect for this for sure. The circle on the base is a set of four buttons. Yep, I shared that a little bit earlier. So that's good. It would have been nice if they, yeah, I probably don't use the nine pin den because uh, they need that extra functionality for those other buttons would be my guess. So I don't know, if, how many buttons can you get registered on a nine pin den? That's a good question. That's, that's something I wanna know. Uh, what is this? A 400 for ants? Yes, ants all over this thing, right? Could crawl all over it. Yeah, a little ant could sit there and do that. Man, that is something else, let me tell you. USB port under the hatch would have been cool. Yeah, a USB port under the hatch, yeah, could have been. Uh, again, if, even if it just opened it so I could store my USB stick in there, that would have been good. Speaking of, I don't think I have a USB stick handy. Oh man, oh no, wait, there's a couple there. We should be, we should be good to go. Uh, and a matching cartridge shaped, yes, and mar matching. Now that could be a third party thing that they could share, but I don't know if they want to support that because every time people plug in, they're not buying games. So I'm not sure where Atari is and if they're cool with any of that yet. I know they provide it, um, but Retro Games is really the one who is providing it. And this is, as you know, is a, coordination between retro games and Atari. So it's really interesting how they're doing that. Let's see. Yeah, it could have been cool to have left USB and right USB. That could have been nice too. Uh, Taro says his is numbered. Wow, 17,670. So I'm feeling pretty good with a 3,002 for sure. Uh, I wonder if the thousands digit is a revision indicator. Uh, that's a good question. Could be. Uh, uh, oh, I guess not, Dan. I see. Uh, looks awesome. Agree. I wonder... If they do an Atari ST Mini, or better yet, Maxi, if it will come with full gym. Now, that would be really cool. Um, we'll have to see. There was some talk that the, what was the next one? The next one, I think the rumor is the next one's going to be an Ami full-size Amiga Maxi. Is that what I remember reading? Correct me if I'm wrong. Hey, Tim. Good. Uh, Timmy. Timmy Raven. Timmy, good to have you. I think this is the first time you've ever been on a Retro Combs live stream. So wel welcome to our group of Retro Combians. Uh, but we always want to take time to welcome those who are brand new here. It's, and Timmy says, uh, it was cool, but it was a pain to type on that membrane keyboard. I bet it was. Again, if you're new to the channel, I am new to the Atari 400. I have not had any, I'm, a, I'm, I'm this guy, I'm a Commodore guy. So that's, that's where I am in this whole thing. So this is going to be a first experience for me that I'm looking forward to. They couldn't enable desktop mode on the Amiga Mini due to licensing. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe they've worked through that and they can do that for the Maxi. Tara is also looking forward to the Maxi. Uh, full size Amiga console. Yep. Okay. Uh, if they do the Maxi, I'd prefer an 800 to a 400. Yeah, agreed. With a good keyboard, not that membrane. Now that would be nice. Uh, and that would be a nice supplement to this as opposed to what they normally do. Uh, and then uh, we all hope it's uh, one with a keyboard and not a CD32. Yeah. I, you know, I've been buying every one of these. I have every one of them. Interestingly, I don't have a VC64 Maxi. I have the VIC20 Maxi. So I can't say I have all of them. Uh, but they're the same device, just other than the look. Uh, but I have really been all in on all of these. As you know, Retro Combs is retro with a you know touch of modern, and this is the modern piece that I really like. So, hey, Marsum, good to have you in. Thanks for popping in. Marsum has been here before. We are getting ready to plug in the Atari 400 Mini. But before we do that, let me compare 
some sizes here. So I am going to, uh, you're, you're going to get to see, I'm going to grab, you see I have my other devices right here. I just leave them right here in case we need them. Uh, I have the A500 Mini. And I have one of the original VC64 minis. I mean, I've had this since they released them. Uh, I don't, I think this is even before they put numbers on them. Yeah, this one doesn't even have a serial number on it. Uh, the Amiga 500 is 48,523, uh, but this one is even before they started doing the cool thing of putting uh, serial numbers on them. So let's compare these. Uh, I am going to go to the desk view on this one so that you can see this. Let's go ahead and kind of show. Let's get rid of the glare on this. So here are our sizes. I do not know. Here's the thing. I do not know if these are actually to scale. Uh, it would be nice if they were to scale. What do you guys think? Are these to scale? I mean, I don't even think these are, the, are to scale, are they? Maybe? I don't know. I don't think they are. I think we can all agree these are not to scale. Obviously not with a joystick or the little joystick would be like, we playing like, you know, be this size, right? We're not doing that. But uh, I don't think these are to scale. But you get kind of a good indication of the size if you own these. I'm curious, how many of you have all all of these anybody have all three of these or am i the only uh, person who's whacked out with this stuff and just buy them when they release them uh let's go back to our poll looks like we have oh we have 23 votes and we have uh, at least a couple of four uh, atari 400 owners uh in uh, the chat if they're still with us so that's great we may have some support so uh that is really cool so here we go let me go ahead and just get caught up on chat and then i'll tell you what we're going to do next so let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to leave the poll up there. If you've not voted in the poll, please go ahead and do that. Uh, some people saying hello. It doesn't appear to be the same scale. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure these are not the same scale. Uh, the Amiga would be, but yeah, this thing was a huge honker, wasn't it? I mean, this sat on your desk and it was because they dropped the drive in that way. It was pretty huge. Uh, oh, good. Taro's with me. Taro has the trio. There we go. The trio. I love that. The trio. Uh, Evil J has the C64 Maxi, which is a good device. I, I enjoy that. Uh, Taro says his son has the C64 Maxi. What a great gift for a kid, right? Uh, I'm interested, Taro, does he program in basic? And has he learned how to use the disk images to save basic programming and those types of things? I love, I love these devices for that, I have to admit. All right, now here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get this thing hooked up. Now, I have, I've heard you all gripe. I shouldn't say gripe. I didn't mean it. I did not mean to say gripe. You, my, my retrocombians do not gripe. I've heard you all mention that I'll be right in the middle of doing something and YouTube will play an ad and you'll miss that. So here's what I'm going to do for you. I am going to take a minute. For those of you who are uh, on YouTube Premium, uh, you won't get this, but I am going to play just because I've been wanting to try this. I'm going to throw an ad up here and I'm going to take that time to get this thing connected. Okay. So don't, don't hate me, but this is the, the reason I'm doing this again is for a couple of things. I want to see if it works. Uh, but it also is going to stop you all from having to watch an ad that's intermittently thrown in. I said, don't put the ad in there. Let me control when it happens. So we're going to give it a try. I'd like for you to tell me, I'm really curious. Tell me what ads you get. Cause I don't know that I'm going to see it. Tell me what ad you get. And then uh, by the time you get back from that ad, I should be at least close to having this thing. I'll go ahead and put these up. I should be close to having this thing plugged in and us ready to go. So if that sounds cool to all of you, continue to chat and let's just try it and see what happens. And I can't wait to hear what ad, what ad do they think my viewers are interested in? So this is kind of a test too, all right? Kind of a test. Here we go. We're going to see if it works. I'm going to, I'm going to shove an ad. Three, two, one. All right. So I don't know. I'm looking over here at my screen. And I'm going to see if an ad comes by. Okay. Yeah. I'm not seeing it because I'm on YouTube premium. You guys in chat tell me. Well, you won't see it if you're watching it. Only the people that are going to see it. I don't even know if it interjects. It probably didn't even inject an ad. Somebody in chat let me know if it has that. If not, you get a chance to watch me. Let me go back. Ooh, what did I just do? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing hooked up. Let's do that. My ad blocker says nope. No ad yet. I remember me and my friends in high school were taking turns and all the data from the... Oh, yeah, typing in the data from the Computes Gazette for sure. Sounds like the ads aren't coming through. 
Uh, I haven't seen anybody who has seen an ad yet. So that's good. You get a chance to kind of watch me. I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to plug into the USB-C here. Um, no ad here. I got a block list from Hecko. Oh, that's interesting. So a lot of you are using ad blockers. So I get it. I get it. All right. Uh, all right. So we're going to plug this in now. I have, uh, I'm going to plug this in over here, right? So that's kind of nice. Uh, is there power? It's not going to, here, let's go ahead and plug in the USB. USB, the USB controller before we do that. I got two. Xander got two ads. All right. Uh, so are you back now, Xander? And um, so you could, you can, you can see everything now, right, Xander? I'm sorry you got two. Hey, tell me, uh, Xander, what ads were they? I'm really interested. Really curious. Okay, the joystick is, we're going to plug into port number one right here. You can see that. I'm trying to get the camera so that you can see that. We'll plug that in right there. That's kind of nice. Boy, it's a long cord. Look at the, look at the length on this cord. This is, whew, wow. Hey, Wonder Dog, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Wonder Dog sent it over a super chat. Thank you, my friend. Really great to have you as part of the Retro Combians. Uh, and uh, this, you've been here for several for several streams, so apologies and condolences. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. It's, it's great to have you. You really add to the uh, the chat box. Uh, so I'm really happy to have you here as, as part of the group. So thank you for that. Let's celebrate their first. There, Hey, this is cool. There is a little thing that says, let's celebrate uh, their first uh, live stream. Well, that's really neat. Um, I love that. So uh, and you can't see that. It was a little thing under chat that showed that. So that's great. Xander gets all the ads. He does, doesn't he? He's uh, Xander's usually the one who went, oh, no, I've got an ad. Uh, but tell me if you like that better than them just popping up randomly. Oh, look, you can see. You can see what I see right here. That's pretty cool, Martin. So, all right. So we've got this plugged in. I do want to show you something. So here, I've got it plugged in on the desk. I can, I, this is, this cable. Man, this thing is long. Look at this. Look at that. I'm way back here. So there's a lot of, whew, there's a lot of cable on there. All right. So let's go back to here. And, uh, Let's go ahead and plug it in. Now, is it going to pop on? I'm going to plug it in right here. I'm going to go ahead and go to my retro. That way, if it pops up, we get a chance to see it when it first pops on. Let me get this out of the way. All right, here we go, guys. Hang in there. We're plugging in. Ah, okay, good. It does not, let me show you what it was. It does not automatically just turn on. You still have to hit the little button on the back. So I'm going to hit the button. Light, camera, action action. Man, it takes a while to boot up. What's going on here? Let me make sure I'm on the right device. I should be on the right device. HDMI. Uh, interesting. I do not have anything. Let me see. Let me see. Retro. Do, 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 do. I'm going to turn it off and make sure I have signal. All right, it is off. Uh-oh, here we go. It's begun, guys. I'm going to go ahead. Oh, I guess I could just hit menu. Uh, don't worry, I have a backup. If this isn't working, I do have a backup. It's not, a, it's not a slick, but it is a backup. In case something is going on here. All right. Uh, oh, interesting. Let's see. Looks like, all right, hang in there. Hold on just a second. I think I know what the problem is, but if I can just find, where is my home button? Uh, there it is. Yeah, so there is it. Hold on just a second. I'm going to do, oh, I get to do it. All right, here we go. I'm going to do it. Hang on. I'm going to do it. It is, it is this guy right here. I'll be right back.
So I found a, a cable that was weird. <laughs> it actually was unplugged. How about that? But I am now seeing my input, no signal, which is what we want. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to turn on our power, power, go retro, and it should pop on. Now I may have to make sure we're on HDMI. There we go. Um, what is going on? This is wrong. Oh, you know why? Why didn't you guys catch me? Have you guys not? Do you guys have? Let's see if you guys saw this. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous, folks. You actually have to plug it in, you know? <laughs> oh, man. You would think. Now, I did have a cable loose, which is also interesting because I didn't have that display. So there's a lot to, there's a lot going on here. But how about we just go ahead and actually plug in the HDMI? Don't we think that that would be probably helpful? Uh, so that that it's always something easy, Air HDMI. I hear you, man. All right, let's go back here. Let's turn it on and boom. I'm sure it's going to pop right on. Here we go. <sighs> there we go. Okay, let me know if you heard that. I want to make sure that you can hear the sound. Did you all hear that part, that portion? You should have. I'm going to go ahead and turn it up just a little bit too because I think uh, that would be fun for us to hear. So that's probably pretty good. Uh, so, all right, perfect. Uh, cool, I know, right? Okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and see if our joystick is working here. Yes, joystick is working. So we are going to choose our language. So this is this is going to be perfect because you're going to get a chance to see it all from the very beginning all the way through uh, my first use. So let's go ahead and select English. Uh, now it says F to select or top for next. So top is, look at this, you got, you have to hit this. So it's telling us to hit top because this is a button, this is a button, this is a button, and this is a button. So it is, while we're doing this, it's kind of acclimating you to the joystick. So uh, uh, fire to select, which I did. Okay, so we did we did that with this button with the fire. So we we're good there. Now we're going to hit the top right here for next. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Just trying to get you oriented, and it worked. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And uh, let's go to uh, 50 hertz or 60 hertz. Well, we are in North America, so we're going to go to drop down. We're going to hit fire to select. And uh, we're going to run a television test, and we can do that by pressing the left button. You see that? It's the little left button on the ring. I do kind of, I have to admit, I kind of like the rings as buttons. That is pretty cool. Uh, television test will end. It uh, looks like everything looks good, so we'll press right to accept. All right. Support for bug zapping. Martin, you are amazing, my friend. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the extra support for bug zapping. Um, I wish you didn't need to do that because that means I would have thought to have plugged in the HDMI cable, <laughs> which to me sounds like I should apply that more towards something else that is mental acuity uh, specific. So, but anyway, thank you, Martin. I really appreciate the super chat. Uh, always, uh, always a uh, honor to have you send one my way. You're so good at that. Thank you so much. Uh, they should have made the text low res like the radio, but oh, that could have been really cool. Yeah, agreed. Okay, let me go ahead and clear this. All right, here we go. Uh, oh, I, I, I like the I like the carousel. Now my my I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Hold on. So there's the entire carousel. I'm gonna pop my screen back up there though, so that you can I can keep an eye on you, or vice versa, you can keep an eye on me. Uh, so you can see the whole uh, uh, carousel. I do like the A. Thank you, uh, Xander. I was wondering. Hopefully you were hearing the music. Thank you for that feedback. Um, I do like the the A the A400. I do like also that Retro Games partnered with Atari on this because this gives us the whole branding and everything is taken care of. I hope we see more of these types of partnerships from Retro Games with other people who own still the IP of some of these old companies. All right, let me turn it back on. So, uh, traditional carousel stuff from Retro Games um, uh, equipment. Uh, Airball gives gives you the title, gives you a little synopsis about the game. Uh, next down, it tells you it's one player. Looks like we can rate it if we want to do that. Um, oh, I did something there. I'll come back to that in just a minute. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, looks like a, a cartridge state. I'm assuming past those stars. It's, uh, I can't point to it, but you can see there's a little cartridge state there. 
Um, and then uh, that's air ball. And then down at the very bottom, right, woo, boop, 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 right there, there we go. We have our little menu strip. So we have help by pushing up, save games by pushing down. That's good. I like that that's there. It's intuitive. Uh, menu for options, menu. I don't know which one's menu. It looks like it's probably one of the ones on the back. Uh, then we have favorites. We can sort and then we have start game. So let's go ahead and go through this menu a little bit right here. So help, if I hit up, you see we get the help for that specific game, right? So let me go ahead and close that. Let's check another one like asteroids. Let's go up and you can see that it is specific to the games, which I, I, I dig that, that's really good. Now I'm closing these menus by hitting that top again, that top ring right here. Looks like we have special actions. I'm gonna take a look at that. See where it says if you press the bottom of the ring, you get special actions. Let's see what that does. Oh, and it's you have to hold it down, which is interesting. So home plus left, you rewind the gameplay. Home plus menu, you show the virtual keyboard. Um, so home, let's see, home plus menu. Okay, so um, I believe now having seen that, you see these buttons right here? There we go. So I believe one of these is home and one of these is, um, what was the other one? Shoot, I can't read home and, let's see. In menu, okay, home and menu, okay. So let's see what happens. Let's, let's, let's close this and I'm gonna hit Oh, there we go, there's options, gotcha. Close, and there's, yeah, okay. So this one is home and this one is menu, all right? So I think we've we figured that out. Uh, our save games, if we go down, there's our game slots. Oh, I like that. I love the game slots look like the cartridges that you could plug in to the Atari 400. I believe there were two cartridge slots in the Atari 400, correct me if I'm wrong in chat, but I think there were two, and I believe in order to get basic on this thing, it wasn't built in. You had to plug in a cartridge for basic. Is that right? Somebody who owns a 400, let me know. But that seems right. Uh, looks like we can lock and unlock, we can load, and then we can top to close. So if we save a, a slot, we can lock it and unlock it to protect it, or we can load it. Okay, got it, so we'll close that. Um, our menu is our options, which is this one right here. So here are our options. We have display options. We have language and we have advanced options. Let's go ahead and take a look at display options. Looks like we have four by three, we have pixel perfect. We do have our favorite, the CRT effect, and we can choose a frame. Let's do this. I, I, I kind of prefer pixel perfect, so I'm gonna select that one. And let's go ahead and turn on our CRT. Oh, look at that. It really blurs it, doesn't it? Uh, I'll take your, I'll take your uh, preference for CRT. I'm gonna leave it on, but if you think we don't like that, then just let me know. And then we can choose a frame. Oh, I like these frames. Oh, these are cool. Uh, I'm gonna choose, I kinda like that, just for old school. Let's choose a frame that'll add some color to the live stream. Um, I think I'm gonna go with, I like this one. I'm gonna go with this one. There you, oh, I like that it gives us a little, preview of what that's going to look like. So we're going to close that. All right. And then I'm going to close that by hitting top again. Let's see what languages we have here. Uh, of course, that's going to be the same thing we saw earlier. So we'll close that. I'm getting used to this keyboard or this uh, joystick, these joystick controls too. So that's nice. Advanced options. All right, here we go. We have systems off options, system information, shutdown, legal. Let's go ahead and go through systems options here. Music. Oh, okay. So we can control it there. Uh, what I don't know is how to decrease it. Oh, decrease it is using the joystick. That's pretty nice. I like that. Although I don't understand why F is increase and the left uh, ring is decrease. Wouldn't it make more sense if the right ring were increase and decrease? I think they, that's a broke. That's broken. I think the increase should be on the right ring. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it up. I think, where was it originally? I think it was at 60. We'll go ahead and leave it there for now. All right, so let's go ahead and close that. System information, we are on build 1.00. This is, I did look, there is not a firmware update at this time. I know they're talking about it. Uh, and supposedly that's gonna fix the mule break, uh, the game that's missing some graphics. And it's also going to provide some additional features that have been requested. I can't tell you what those are because I don't remember what I read. So there you go. And I'm thirsty. Where's my drink? There we go. By the way, the drink of the day is just simply water. Sorry to disappoint today. But that is what it is. It was gonna be an LA cherry, but 
uh, I decided again. All right, so we'll go back to the top here. Here's our shutdown device, our legal notices. Let's see what legal notices we have. Wow, we've got uh, we've got a lot of Atari stuff in here and trademarks and don't copy this and we protect this and there's some GNU stuff in here. Or GNU. Uh, look at that. This, this is a, this is a list of stuff. So when you get a chance, hopefully you're reading that right now. Uh, remember to always read these things before you play the games, just like retro combs does all the time, right? Okay. Yep. Nope. And then you have a factory reset. All right, let's go ahead and close that. Let's go ahead and close that. Uh, and then we have our favorites. If we use our uh, left ring button, we have, fa oh, there we go. We can make this our favorite. So we just hit that and the bars change. Let me show you what I'm doing here. I'm hitting this button right here over and over and it's moving the stars one, two, three, four, and then back to zero. So that's what's happening there. I have no earthly idea. Oh, asteroids, uh, uh, I give asteroids a three. And then we have our sort options. We can sort by author, sort by genre, sort by year, sort by publisher, sort by favorite. That's kind of nice. And of course, Asteroids is going to be first. I like that. I don't know that I've ever used that on any of the other machines before. I need to do that because then I can really use those ratings to great effect to get them and then sort by title. Okay, so that's the option. And then, of course, if we hit fire, then we'll start a game. Let's go ahead and start with the very first game which is Asteroids. That won't take long to play and everybody's familiar with it, but I do want to check in on chat. Uh, let's check in on you and see how you're doing. Xander says, I hear the music, which we talked about. Atari's branding, etc., isn't as much of a quagmire as Amiga. Yeah, Atari knows who they are. Everybody knows who owns Atari right now. Nobody knows who owns Amiga. It's just all over the board, or Commodore for that matter. I mean, it's all over the board too. Uh, I always hear music, the theme song from DuckTales on 24 by 7 loop. Oh boy, DuckTales, boy, I remember that. Live, love is like a, live is, live is like a hurricane? Live is like a hurricane. Love is like a hurricane? Which one is that? Uh, life is like a hurricane. There we go. Okay, you're confusing me. I just saw that. Sorry. Uh, yes. Uh, two on the 800, only left slot on the 400. Oh, is that right? Correct. Okay, so there was only one. That's very interesting. Okay, so... All right, we're caught up. Let's get in here and get uh, let's get back into the games. But hey, guys, before I do that, you know I have to do this. You know I have to go back in here and talk about. Uh, let's see if I can find it here. Let's see. Let me go back. Hold on, I'll find it here in just a minute. Uh, here we go. I have to talk about this for those of you that are new to the channel. So don't forget if you want to support the channel. Now, some folks today have already supported the channel by using super thanks or super chats rather. And some people support using thanks. And I really appreciate those of you that do that. Uh, it is great to see those come across during live streams. You can also, if you like, you can join uh, at buymeacoffee.com slash retrocombs at these fun levels. Uh, the pet membership basically is $1 a month. You're saying thank you. You get pretty much nothing other than I get your uh, endearing gratitude for being a uh, pet level member. If you go up to the Vic 20 level, actually at the pet member, I, I take that back. You do get also the monthly newsletter that I try and put together, obviously monthly. Uh, and it's kind of fun. It has some links in there. I try and find some, what I call the, the last eight bits, which are links to things that I found online through the month that I think are interesting. You get a little more behind the scenes. Uh, you get to see the stats for the channel, all those types of things. If you go up to the Vic 20 level, you get some shout outs and some other things. C64 level, uh, you get some additional perks all the way up to plus four. The C128 and the Mega 65 perks so are at the level of, if you're on a C128, you get a producer credit on all my videos. If you're at the Mega 65, you get an executive producer and executive producers get a separate chat in my Discord. Uh, and you get Discord starting at the VIC 20 and above. And the Discord channel, I'm actually glad that I have uh, cut that down to only members because a lot of people have been, their discords are getting spammed and because mine is closed only to members and we know it's protected. So I really enjoyed that. So discord at Vic 20 and above, I'm sorry, discord at, yeah, Vic 20 and above newsletter at Vic 20 and above, and then all kinds of additional perks as you go. Okay. So take a look at those if you have interest and, uh, thank you for that. And Martin is already saying, Hey, turn that CRT off. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, I appreciate it. Let's go back over here and see if we can figure out how to... Hey, have we even looked at a game yet, though, with CRT? Let's see what it looks like first, Martin. So we're going to play Asteroids, and we're going to see what CRT mode looks like. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, let's see. Now, how do you start the game? Uh, it's probably one of the buttons on the back. 
or not. Oh, that went back home, so that's not it. Oh, that's interesting, check that out. If I wanna go back to the game, it's hovering up there, see that? I can actually go back by hitting home. Oh, that's kinda of cool, so you can go back and forth between home and the game you're playing. Well, that's neat because I'm wondering now, can I make setting changes while I'm in the actual game? Let's see if that's an option. So let's go to menu. Let's do display options. Let's turn off CRT. Let's go back, back, and home. Hey, check that out. Looks like CRT is turned off. Very cool. Now, what I don't know is how to start a game. Because when, when I hit fire, nothing happens. So maybe top. Top. Nope, not top. Oh, there it is. It's the right ring. And wow, this is, this is, this is Asteroids. I will say that. It is a version of Asteroids. I can confirm that this is something like Asteroids. Uh, of course, it doesn't have those vector graphics. It wouldn't have that. Uh, but it's pretty, it's pretty faithful, pretty accurate. It seems a little jerky. I will say that. Um, I'm definitely not going to rate this as high as I did with three stars, but it is, like I said, definitely a version of Asteroids. There we go. Uh, and it even looks like this is probably an Atari 400 version, right? Would be my guess. I do like the music. I like the colors. I like the visuals. Uh, but it reminds me of playing Asteroids on the Atari 2600 for sure. Uh, my dog is barking. Retro Pup is going crazy upstairs. If you hear a dog barking, that is not in your neighborhood. That is in my neighborhood. Let's see if I can finish this level here. Hey, look at that. I finished the level. So that is Asteroids. Now, I hit the top button. No, see, hit the home button. And that takes me back home. Okay, let's go ahead and let's try basketball. No, I'll tell you what, before we do that, let me uh, let me change my favorites on that. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna do a one on that one. That one is that one gets a definite one, <laughs> definitely a one. Um, so we'll do that. Um, and Wonder Dog is saying that's so you can do save states. So let's do that since I'm at a point where I can save. I've actually got through the first level and I could come back and do that later. So I'm gonna hit down. Oh, that's slick. I like that, did you see that? And then I can choose which slot I'm gonna save it into. We're gonna save this one into slot one and then maybe we'll come back and test it out. Oh, I like that. Very, very cool. That that interface is better than the uh, VC64. I do like that. It looks like we've done some really cool things there. Let's go ahead and close that. So now that state is saved and it's gone away. So if I wanted to play from there again, then I would come back to my favorites. Oh, I'm sorry, not my favorites. Let me put that back where it goes. I will come back to my save games and then I hit fire button and I can load it right back up. And there you go. And see, I just died. So if I go back, then I can come back to that if I need to. And we could reload it and try it again. So that is very cool. I, I, I think that is that UI, that UI is pretty good. All right, let's take a quick look at basketball. We're not going to do every game today, but we will do uh, a few of them that we're interested in. Let's see, home time visitors, Atari basketball one, copyright Atari. Wow, okay, there we go. Let's see what we have here. Um, Oh, this is, this is, this is, this is basically Atari 2600 basketball. Oh, only he's killing me uh, with improved graphics. Oh, I missed that one. Let's see if I can, oh, I just threw it away. But this is just like the, uh, yeah, this is just like the Atari 2600 game I remember. Oh, there's no way I'm going to make that. Let's see if I can score here. There we go. Oh, no, that should go in. Oh, seriously? Let's try this again. Yeah, you got to be just, that one will go in. Oh, short. Uh, I will say this. I am not having problems with this joystick. There we go. There we go. I scored. All right. There we go. <coughs> Pardon me. So I, uh, that is definitely like the Atari 2600 again. Uh, a game I just, I killed a hands. I destroyed joysticks worth. There were battles in my house over this game between me and my brothers and my father. So there was a lot of that going on, uh, but that's a great game. So let's go ahead and go back home. Uh, now what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit a few more here 
So what I'd like to know is, is there a specific game that you are interested in? Uh, how are we doing on time, guys? Are we doing all right? Looks like, uh, oh yeah, we're doing really well. We've been at about an hour. Let's go ahead and a few more games. Uh, we might try and load something from a USB drive if we have time. We don't have to worry about a firmware upgrade because there aren't any. Let's try Battlezone. Uh, Battlezone looks good. Again, we're not going to get full vector like we do with those other ones, but let's see. Uh, interestingly, the, the same thing to start it is not the same one. Use fire for this one. Got our little radar up there. Uh-oh. Take that. Yeah, that's right. Where is he? There he is. Whew. He almost got me. Gotta stay on the move. Oh, missed that one. The graphics are pretty low res on this. But this is this is fun. Uh-oh, what happened? Where is he? There he is. Oh, got me. So Battlezone is is pretty realistic, pretty similar to uh, what we're used to. So not bad, not bad at all. Let's go ahead and exit out of this one. Uh, let's go ahead and here's Berserk. That's a popular one. Now I was I was always horrible at this game. Except that was probably the best one I've ever done right there. All right, let's see how we get started on this one. There we go. That one uses the the right. So the interface is a little bit different because sometimes you press fire to start and sometimes you press the right ring to start. Let's see if we can. Oh, man. See, this is what I'm talking about. I am. Oh, I like the sound. That's pretty good. Let's see what we have here. Hey, give me a, give me a break here, guys. Do like the sound effects. Now see, I shot him, he shot me. This is why I always berserk drove me nuts. Am I on two player? What happened? Oh, okay, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I was done, that's what happened. Oh, I, I, I finally, finally. I like how they shoot themselves too, that's always fun. The sound is really good. I do like the sound. So that is Berserk. So that one is pretty realistic because I died just like I did on the original one. Uh, Boulder Dash. I'm going to skip that one. Uh, Bristles. Mm, this colorful platform where you control Peter the Painter. I'm going to pass on that one. Uh, capture the Flag. I'm curious about this one. This is an action 3D maze game. You must quickly navigate through a maze and capture the flag. Now it says this is two player. So this is going to be pretty boring, but I do want to see the graphics on this. So let's go ahead and plug in. Ah, uh, let's see. Right to start. There we go. Uh, right ring to start. One player or two player. One. How, now, how do I choose one player? Uh, because I don't have a keyboard. So this is where I need to activate that, I think, the keyboard. And I think you do that by pressing both these buttons. There it is. And uh, we will come over here and we will hit one. There we go. You are the invader or the defender. We're going to be the invader. So then I think I press these again and it goes away. There we go. So there we go. That's not bad. I can I can work with that. Uh, doing three. Look, it's Doom on the Atari 20 uh, on the Atari 400. Well, not quite. Oh, this is one of those ones that doesn't reveal the maze until you go through. And so I'm lost. <laughs> Here we go. You guys want to see me lost in a maze? Uh, sometimes I just feel that's the way the live stream is. I'm lost in a maze of confusion. Uh, there we go. I like the sky. The uh, The color of the sky is really nice. How they've gradiated the sky. They could have just chosen a flat color, but that's kind of a nice little feature. All right, so this is Capture the Flag. I am not going to sit here and keep playing, uh, but that is pretty nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, let's get out of here. We have Centipede. We're all familiar with Centipede. We'll pass that one. Crystal Castles. This one uh, was a game that was always fun, but it was really hard. And I'm interested. This will probably test that diagonal joystick issues that some people are saying they have. Once we get done with this one, though, um, we will uh, go ahead and check in on chat. So if you have a question or something you want to see in chat, make sure that's in there. We'll be back there in just a minute. Uh, one controller, one player. All right, here we go. 
Oh yeah, I remember this. And we have to make sure all of these... Um, actually, you can't fall off the edge, so that's nice. But it is, yeah, it is using the... You gotta go diagonal. Oh no! It's basically... I can't jump, can I? Oh yeah, I can jump. Look at that. Let's see if we can get these guys right... There we go. You got the last gem bonus 1,000. There you go. So there is Crystal Castles. Not bad. I want to see what it looked like when you got killed. There you go. All right, so that is Crystal Castle. Not, not a bad version of that game, actually. So let's go ahead and check in on chat and see what's going on with you guys and make sure we're answering questions. we got a few more things we'll do, and then we'll probably start to wind this one down. Look at those asteroids being EOR'd on top of each. Yes, they were. Uh, did the 408, uh, that's a good question. I don't know if it had sprites or not. There's a lot of flashing going on. Uh, that's what happens when the platform runs out of sprites. Oh, very interesting. Uh, yes, but they were quite weird. Four regular sprites and four one pixel sprites that could combine into a fifth and they were all cylindrical covering the entire height of the screen. You can't see that, but it, I, I see that in my chat. Um, Amiga style sprites, full vertical height, question uh, mark. The antic chip would dynamically alter the sprites as the beam progressed, giving the illusion of proper sprites. We are, we are getting some background on the 400 today. Uh, the basic series had eight by one, one by one, but the antic would reprogram it in real time. Uh, the Antic is the Atari chip, I'm assuming, right? Again, I know nothing about these guys. Uh, Antic seems like a logical evolution of J Miner's TIA chip. Oh, I see. I, okay, okay. Um, to me, the Antic comes across as an attempt to fix the obvious shortcomings of the GTIA. Result, the CPU gets suspended all the time. That's where we're seeing some of that, that hiccupy stuff, for sure. Yeah, the Amiga hardware sprites had a weird vertical setup. I was kind of disappointed to not see much in the way of UK software on it. Archer McLean famously said the Atari computers were way better than the C64. Do we really think that? I don't know. Based on what I've seen, I don't know that I would say that. Uh, has Atari version of Drop, uh, his Atari version of Drop Zone is apparently, oh, we'll have to check that one out. Drop Zone is probably something we should write down. Uh, let me do the, the drop zone. Let me work my pen and go. Here it is. I'm dro I'm writing down drop zone is something we should probably check out at some point. Um, if you're interested, let me know. We might do a follow-up live stream with the Amiga, because I've done this with other uh, others of the mini, but we might do a follow-up Amiga 400 mini, like the top 10 uh, most popular games on the Atari 400, 800, 800 XL series. So let me know if you're interested in that. It's amazing to think that the 8-bit series had such an extensive color palette in 79. It, it is interesting that this is the uh, uh, 1979. You are right. Now, some of these games, I don't know. Does, I have to go back and look. Did it say whether it was a 400, 800, or what version it was? I don't remember that. I used to play Crystal Castles in the arcade all the time. I did, that's, that was where I played it. Perhaps uh, Archer had experience with the 2600. In that case, I could understand why he'd like the Atari series. Uh, I think the licensing of Drop Zone was a shambles. I remember suing the publisher and successfully. Uh, Sarah Omi. Hey, Sarah. Uh, I'm sorry if you've been in the chat. You have been in the chat, and I haven't said hello. Welcome, my friend, uh, to uh, the Retrocombs live stream, and welcome to being uh, one of our one of several Retrocombians for this live stream. Uh, the fixed color palettes on systems like the C64 and MS MSX were a serious shortcoming uh, that was overcome later by other computers, of course. Hey, uh, let me go ahead and close our poll out. Looks like... Uh, we had 28 votes, 86% of you have no experience, which would make sense because you guys are probably here for my, more of my Commodore comment, content, although I do a lot of Atari stuff here lately, it seems like. Uh, and only 14% uh, of you had a uh, Atari 400 back in the day. So we're gonna go ahead and close out that poll. So thank you for participating in that poll today, all 28 of you. Great to have you participating, it always makes it fun. Uh, a follow-up with some of the best non-bundled games would be awesome. All right, Wonder Dog, I got it. We'll, we'll talk about that. Probably be several live streams down, I think. Well, maybe. I've got a couple ideas for live streams, but um, yeah, let me, see, let me see where it falls. Uh, and if you're curious about where things fall on my list of things to do, that's also in the newsletter that I send out every month. You can kind of see, and, and I, I try and prioritize them, but it doesn't always stay that way. But usually it's it's pretty, it tells you what's coming up in the future. So again, that's another cool thing that you can get with 
the um, membership at buymeacoffee.com slash retrocombs. All right, let's go back here. Let's see what else we have. Let's do a couple more things and uh, we will give this a shot. Let's see, electric, oh, this looks good in this futuristic motorbike racing game. Okay, now here's what I wanna know. Where, where does it tell us what game machine this was for or which computer? Or do we just assume all of these are were on the 400 and 800? Is that what we do? Um, so, and also, is it true that anything that ran on the 400 would run on the 800? I'd like to know that too, if anybody can confirm that. How do I know what, what system this game is for? It doesn't seem to be on here, but let's take a look at it and see. It looks like a cool game. Oh, the English software company, here you go. Uh, UK represented here. And uh, let's see, okay, so that's what I want. Let's go ahead and get this, oh. All right, we are, okay, fire button is the accelerator. Whoa, looks like we're coming out. Uh, oh, that's that's pretty nice. I get the sense for speed, I will say that. Oh, I gotta get off the rails. Get off the rail or you slow down. Or not the rail, but the edge. Oh, that was interesting, what's that? I don't know if I was supposed to do that or not. <laughs> I feel like I should have avoided that. Great, a bouncing ball in the middle of the road. Who does that? This is this is pretty good. I like this. Oh, I don't know how you would have avoided that. I don't know if I... Wow, I just keep hitting those. All right, that is... We'll stop for now. That was Electra Glide. If anybody had experience with that game, please let me know in chat. This one is called Encounter. In this space-themed shooter game, you command a starship defending against alien invaders. I am going to do something. We've not done this yet. Let's uh, let's pull up our um, uh, help and see what we have here. Fire, move forward, move backward. Uh, left turn, right turn, select difficulty. So that's all the standard stuff. I wonder if this game had, oops, wrong one, had something that would have helped me. Let's see. Oh, brake. Oh, there's buttons. Hey, guys. Oh, no, there's another button on here. I did not know that. Maybe somebody else did. There is a button right here on the corner. See that? That would have been brake. So this would have been accelerate, and this would have been brake. So there we go. There's another button on there that we did not, or you may have known about it, I did not know about. And this is why you probably want to look at those menus and those help screens as you're playing these games. Pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and uh, let's check out Encounter. Encounter sounds, let's have an encounter in Encounter. That sounds pretty good. Uh, begin game. All right. Um, kind of Battle zone esque, but without vector graphics. Is that what we're reading here? There's, let's see what we have here. Yeah, it's basically battle zone, uh, which seems like an odd selection given we have battle zone. Why would we throw another game that's like battle zone? Let's see if I can lead that thing. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no, I like that. That's cool. All right. That's not a bad game. I'm going to I'm going to be spending some time with that. That is called Encounter, but again, it's a lot like Battle Zone. I don't know why we need both of those. Flip and flop. Henry's house, I'm going to pass on that one. Uh hover bo hover bover, hover bover in this quirky maze game you play as Gordon Bennett who has stolen the neighborhood's lawnmower. I'm going to pass on that one. I do want to play Lee. I want to see what Lee looks like. Now, let's look, let's definitely look at our help on this one. You have two attacks. You have attack with the bottom button here or the fire button. I don't know if they're the same attack. Uh, play versus computer player. You have that option here. Select players with the top button. Uh, right, left, jump. Okay, well, let's just see. Let's just see what we get. I'm getting used to the joystick controls. I will say that. It's, it's not bad at all. Uh, I don't know if there's pole position or not. We'll check that out here in just a minute. Good question. Okay, oh, uh, option one, player one, computer, that looks good, press start to begin. Press start, there we go, all right, press start. All right, oh, this looks good. Yeah, the attack, both buttons apply the same attack, it's not the same thing, so. Oh, 
Now, I was never good at this game, so... I'm horrible at this game. You gotta get... Oh, man! Okay, well, you've seen it. <laughs> I was never good at button mashers. And I know there's a strategy, and you've got to get just right. And I, if I had some time, I would play that. Uh, so that is uh, Lee, or formerly the game formerly known as Bruce Lee. I feel like we need a symbol for it, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and get out of here, and let's see what we have. We, here's Mule. Let's go ahead and let's check out Mule. I have never played Mule, and I don't know why that was never a thing. But evidently, this is a broken version of the game. And maybe, I think I'm not going to do a USB stick today. I think we'll save that for a follow-up live stream. Um, but let's just see what people are griping about with Mule. Press Option to change, uh, okay, Beginner's good. Select to change the number of players. Uh, which one's Select? Uh, insert a joystick or paddle for each player. Oh, this is a five-player game. Oh, or four, five. Four-player game. That's pretty neat. Uh, to, to, to go on, press Yes on your buttons. Um, is that, do I need a Y? Is that, nope, that's not it. Uh, how about this? I can't even get started. Let me just mash some buttons here. Oh, there we go. Stick. Yep, there we go. Uh, at least one joystick is required to play the game. Well, I have one joystick. Insert a joystick or paddle for each player. Yeah, it's not registering my, that's not part of the problem, is it? Let me exit out of here. Um... Let me, how do you kill a game? I guess I have to come over here, start this one, come back, come back here, start this one. Let's see if we can get this game loaded. Okay, there we go. Um, press option to change level. Press select. Okay, let's see, is there a select button? I'm gonna have to kill me for here just a minute. Hold on, let's see, is there select somewhere? Oh, here it is. I think that's it, right? There we go. And press start to go on. All right, there we go. You definitely need the on-screen uh, keyboard for this. Press yes on your button to... Um, press yes. Yeah, interesting. It says, please press your buttons to go on. It's not registering my button. So I wonder if that is the problem uh, with this version of Mule, which is why... Um, Maybe there were a lot of people were complaining about it. So that is not going to work for me today, which I hate that. Uh, but I do have the version that I can download to a USB stick, and they did say that they were going to fix that. All right, here's Millipede. We're off. And so we have Centipede and Millipede. That seems like a miss. Pick one. I don't think we need both. Uh, so that would not be uh, a good game, I don't think. We need, again, both of those. Minor 20. This is a good game. I'm not going to play it. Let's do, a, let's do a classic missile command for just a minute and see what it looks like. Yeah, this looks pretty... Pretty basic here. And I always did hate this game with a joystick. I really prefer the trackball. Um, it just made playing this so much better. Um, and I was never really that good at this game anyway. Uh-oh, I'm getting ready to die. All right, at least I made it through round one. Not bad. Okay, so that's Missile Command. I think we got that one, right? There's nothing. Oh, there's a... Yeah, let's take him out. Gotta take this one out. Boom, there we go. All right, so that's Missile Command. That was pretty cool. And let's see, uh, this one is O'Reilly's Mine. I've heard of that. That's a pretty decent game. Now, this one is, in this exploration strategy game, you are a brave adventurer, travel into the unknown lands, engage with natives, and establish colonies for riches. Let's take a look. This is probably going to be pretty significant. You might even need a keyboard for this one. Let's go to our help. Looks like we have action. Eh, maybe not. It says action, action. Move up, move down, move left, right. Eh, doesn't look like there's really that much needed on this. So let's close that. Let's load it and see what it looks like. I do not need... Yeah, definitely trackball needed on that one, Jamie, for sure. Let's see. This is the Seven Cities of Gold. Uh, let's go to Novice. Or I could go... Let's just do Observer. Granted, you are perhaps after so many years you will be. So it's going through and playing by itself. Uh, or is it? Its shape is in your, the sun is rising on a day full of promise for the future. History awaits. Yes, it is actually playing on its, by itself. So we are observing. So you get a chance to see what this looks like. Graphics are kind of fun. 
Uh, really old school 8-bit, but they really look kind of nice. I like it. Uh, Wonder Dog says the Seven Cities of Gold is awesome. I may have to check, uh, dive into this sometime. It looks... I do like all the different screens. And all, it looks like... Uh, Mar what are we doing? Uh, Expedition is aboard. So March 1492, we have 100 men, 52 food. So it's definitely a, a strategy game. I like this opportunity too to observe it too so that you get a chance to see actually how the game is played. Very nice. I'll have to come back to that at some point. That looks like a lot of fun. All right. Oh, there's the one. I'm going to say that one for last. Uh, and I have no earthly idea what this is, but somebody said it was good. Uh, we probably will skip Wavy Navy. We're definitely going to spend a little time in that. I've been wanting to try that one. So let's go ahead and play Yomp, Yoomp, Yoomp, Yoomp. I'm going to say Yoomp. Oh, this looks good. What is this? This is not for the 400, right? This has got to be... Yeah, this is 2007, so this is a modern game developed for an old system. So let's see what this looks like. Uh, five lives, like this looks like this could be fun. What in the world? What do I do? Oh, this looks cool. Maybe this is for the 400. They're just really pushing the limits of the, I don't know what to do. Was that? Oh, you died. Ah, yes, here we go. Um, Let's see if I can get a little bit further this time. This is really well done. Now this is a fun game. So I've got a little level thing down there on the bottom that tells me how far I guess I have for... Oh, I just used a jump. I should not have done that because you only have so many. All right, I'm getting the hang of it. That's that now that's fun. That's a good game. It is a little laggy, I will say. It's kind of jerky, but it, it actually is a lot of fun to play. I do like that game. That's pretty nice. Right, let's go ahead and come back. Oh, let's take a quick look at Wavy Navy and then we'll start to wrap this thing up. Uh, I do not know how to play this. Oh, is it just basically I'm shooting? Oh, it's it's basically Space Invaders on the ocean, right? Um, I will say, guys, I have not had any problems with this joystick whatsoever, so maybe some people are having problems with it, but for me, it feels old school, it feels solid, I feel like I have, oh my goodness, this is more than, this is definitely more than uh, um, Space Invaders, this has got, a, this is almost like Galaxian meets Space Invaders. Let's see if we can get through one level here. This is fun. I like this. I have not played this, but I'm having a blast with it. This is this is my kind of game right here. All right, level one. Boom. I've been promoted. How about that? Not bad. Yeah, again, like Space Invaders meets Galaga meets Galaxian. Uh, pretty cool. I, oh, is that a mine down there now that I can run into? That's not good. Yeah, it looks like uh, that mine, if I, yep, if it were above water, I would run into it and probably die. This is fun. Has anybody played this game before? Because this one is, this one speaks to me for some reason. Graphics are simple. Um, it's got good gameplay. Oh, I like that. That's really cool, too. That is really cool. All right, I'm going to be playing that game more. That looks just like a lot of fun. Okay, the last one we're going to do for the day is Star Raiders. Before I do that, let's get caught up on chat. It's still bothering me, guys. It is still bothering me. I'll get that squared away before the next time. Uh, let's see. Always like the Atari color capabilities. Uh, I did always wonder why the C64 palette was so horrid. Great hardware, but weird color choice. Um... Wonder Dog says one of the Vic 20 or one of the Vic 2 designers claimed that they just picked colors that they like. No real thoughts going through the process. Um, let's see. Evil J says some chips in the 400, 800, just more expandable RAM in the 800, better keyboard, additional slot. Gotcha. And so that's the difference. So definitely would want an 800 then. 
Uh, there was not pole position. I don't, I'm pretty surprised that that wasn't on there. I agree. Ridiculous that the game is now called Lee. Apparently, yeah, the estate didn't like it. Um, that's what I read too. Never played Mule. Oh man, you're in for a treat. Well, evidently I was in for a treat, but I'm still not in for a treat. Mule's great to play with two or three friends. I'd have to get the lovely accountant down here and try it. Mule and Bro Bruce Lee, Br Bruce Lee for sure. Um, really love to see an Amstrad CPC Mini. I have no experience with an Amstrad either. That would be fun too. It's a great inexpensive way to experience these machines for sure. Uh, start was one of uh, start was one of the front base buttons on the joystick. Oh uh, yeah, but I couldn't get it to go. I thought I hit every one of them. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. Minor twenty forty nine er. If it doesn't exist for your platform, you don't own a computer. No, it's kind of like does it play Doom? Right. Back in the day, it was does it play Minor twenty forty nine er? Right. Trackball, I talked about that one a little bit earlier. Evil J says, uh, in the follow-up as well, Bounty Bob Strikes Back. My sister kept hogging the C64 back in the day to play it. Uh, Seven Cities is awesome. Agree. Yep. Uh, Evil J says, uh, Omi, yep. Great back fun in the day. Sort of like Sid Meier's Pirates. Yeah, it did kind of have that. Um, and uh, what's the other one? Uh, or, uh, 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 the one where they go out west and everybody dies of... Uh, hypothermia and uh, uh, all that stuff. Um, what is the name? Come on, guys, help me out. The one, it was popular on the Apple. Everybody's in a stagecoach. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I cannot remember whatever. Oh, man, it's going to kill me when you guys type that in chat. Planes like Kamikaze coming up. Yeah, they did. They almost got me. If Wikipedia is to believe there's no minor 2049er on either the Amstrad or MSX, adding it to my list of future projects. If you are a programmer, Sir Omi, Definitely do that. We'd love to see those. Wow, really? That's weird. Thought it was pretty much on every platform. Uh, when I think of pole position, I always think of the 7800 version. Played it. Yeah. Um, should break that out sometime on there. Oregon Trail. Thank you very much. Oregon Trail. Yes. Appreciate it. Yeah. Once you put Oregon, I was good from there. So thanks, guys, for that. All right. Let's go back, play our last game, and then we'll start to wind things up. Kind of tell you what's ahead. So let me go ahead and uh, get back to our retro. And let's go. I've been I've been looking for now Star Raiders though. There is some stuff here. Look at this. You got toggle shields. You got your map. This is using all the buttons. So dysentery. There you go. Dysentery. They all died of dysentery. Thank you for that. <laughs> Didn't think you never thought you'd hear the words of dying from dysentery on the retro combs live stream right uh, but check it out this one uses every one of these uh, controls and um, you got target mode select weapon i'm gonna die really quickly but i'm anxious to explore this game just because it does make use of all these buttons and gives you a more interactive experience makes you feel more like you are in uh, a starship my understanding was this was it was it this version or the other version was going to be a movie tie-in for, uh, here we go, here's my memory again, holy cow, for uh, the, the Last Starfighter. Um, that, that this was going to be designed, it was going to have that movie tie-in, but it never happened. So the Xylons were going to be the Zergs. Uh, so it's either, I think Star Raiders, that's what happened. Um, could be wrong, don't quote me, but I believe I remember reading that at some point, but I don't remember if that was Star Raiders 1 or 2, I think it was 2. So anyway, The Last Starfighter, you can kind of put yourself in the seat and kind of uh, pretend that you're doing that even though it's not themed, is my understanding. Okay, let's see, let's see how quickly I can die. Uh, but again, I'm, I'm, this, this is the one, this is probably the, the main reason I'm buying this thing, is I've always wanted to play this game. All right, let's, let's close this. We're going in. We are going in. And I've heard this is very technologically impressive, what they were able to do. I do like the, uh, I love the, the dash down here or the, 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 the display. Check it out. We got radar. We got all kinds of fun stuff going on. That's a lot. There's a lot going on here. 1985. This seems really good. And those kind of look like those ships from The Last Starfighter, don't they? This is a blast. Oh my goodness, this is good. Guys, this is fun. This is this is this is fun. I gotta be careful though, because I'm pretty sure I have limited now if I remember Yeah, 
And my, um, I do have, what did it say? Shields were, um, shields off. Oh, shields on, shields off. Okay, I see. So it's a toggle. Okay, my shields are on. Now they're probably going to... All right, a little self-directed there, so it's going to take me on to the next level, I assume. I guess I can fly. Oh, I can go left and right and fly around a little bit and find out where the next action is. Okay, so going forward speeds you up. If you push forward on joystick, speeds you up. So slow down. Um, but I'm not sure what to do now. Let's see. Let's see what we have. Oh, interesting. When I push that, something just happened. Yeah, this is where I, I, so when I press the bottom, it separates my reticle. Reticle, there we go. And uh, now I'm doing something else, I guess. Oh, I see, maybe, ah, there we go, I see. I have to do this now. I've got to get better at this though. Let's see if we can find... So now we're in a bombing run as opposed to a fighting run. Oh, missed one. Shoot. I don't know how you're supposed to predict where they are. There's so... Let me see if I can slow down some more. There we go. I slowed down as slow as I can make it go. There we go. Okay. You really got to slow it back. How many of those do I need to get? Huh. This is... I have to figure out how I find... I don't see anything below that's directing me which way to go. Does anybody see anything down on the control panel that says, hey, go this way or that way? Or maybe I'm supposed to be back in this mode. Oh, no, there are figures. There was one. Okay, let's see if we get another one. Usually when one pops up, you get a, a series of them. There we go. Okay. All right, we're getting there. We're getting a little better. I feel like my score's not going up, though. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, so now I've got to go back to here. All right. Subspace radio damage. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm gonna be addicted to this game. This is really, I, I tell you, this, this is one where I would spend hours on. This is so much fun. This is definitely the highlight of this machine. Um, what do you guys think? I know you're not playing, but just from what you've seen, would this be your highlight or which of the games that I have played do you think you would spend the most time on? Let's talk about that before, as we're winding up. Let me get this last guy here. There we go. So, oh my goodness, there's more. Um, shields are off, shields are on. Let's turn those back on. And I'm not sure how long the shields last. Probably not long. Let's see if I can die here so we can see what that looks like. Oh, I didn't die. Well, there you go. We're, we're not going to die today. We're going, we're going on a strafing run now. Now, oh, wait. Are we docking? What are we doing? Was I supposed to do that? I don't remember if I was supposed to do that or if I was supposed to dock. No clue. Now, it looks like I'm supposed to destroy that. Because it is destroying me. Oh, interesting. You're, you're my, oh, gosh, I thought I had, okay, I know, guys. You're probably wondering, is he going to release us from this live stream? Oh, shields. Or is he going to keep playing this game? I'm going to keep playing this game until I die or I win. 
Okay, there, that's good. Is there another one? Let's see. Looks like there's another one right there. Let's see if we can... I will tell you, I am... Oh, there you go. Starfleet, all units of Zylons now control the cell system statistics. Da, da, da. You have been demoted to ensign of a garbage scowl. There you go. Hey, that was pretty fun. Uh, not bad. Not bad at all. I really enjoyed that. Let's go ahead and uh, I think... Well, let me, let me just see. Um, let me go in here. I believe... Let's go ahead and take this back home. And uh, that was a lot of fun. I, I want to rate that one. I am going to, that is going to be, uh, let's make that my favorite. So it's first, so that when I sort by favorites, it's the first one to pop on. So there you go. All right, let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to, hey, let's see if, uh, I'm gonna show, let's see if we can shut this thing down. I think there was a shutdown menu option. Let's see, oops, wrong one. Go back here, go here, and let's see, advanced options, and shut down. There we go. We'll see what that looks like. And there you go. So there you go, my friends. There is my unboxing and first use and reactions, obviously, of the Atari 400 Mini. That was a blast. We're about an hour and 46 minutes in. Let's check out... Let's see what you guys talk about in chat. First of all, how many people have you hung on with me? Wow, 16 of you hung in there with me. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate you. Uh, we talked about dysentery and the Oregon Trail. And again, I never thought we'd talk about those things on the live stream, but we did. We talked about dysentery and live and uh, Oregon Trail on the live stream. I think there was a version of Minor 2049er for the ColecoVision. Wonder if it could easily be ported to the MSX. It should be able to. Um, I have to also check to see if the Naboo had a version of that or... Um, uh, the, but you said, let's see, uh, for the ColecoVision, I wonder if it could easily be ported to MSX. Oh, yeah, I have to check. Probably not for the Naboo then. Uh, poor Terry was tired of being dissed. <laughs> yes, he was. Uh, ColecoVision uh, games ports uh, extremely easily to a number of systems, including the MSX and the Sega. And they use slightly rubbish <laughs> video display. VDP. I get it right here, man. Uh, I played Space Spartans on the television instead of this one. Oh, was that similar? Uh, yeah, I know that movie was great. It is awesome. Um, I showed it to the lovely accountant for her first time, I guess about a year ago, and she was, uh, weirdly, weirdly, she had never seen it. Uh, so that was kind of, she knew about it, but she had never seen it. Uh, yes, Death blo activate Death Blossom, that's right. I'd forgotten about that where just, I wonder if that might have something similar during later uh, levels. That could be interesting. Evil J, looking through the magazines from the 80s, there seems to be an enormous amount of systems available until you look at the specs. Uh, I, I, I like the horizon on that one too. I agree, that one was really good. Uh, the Antic in Action, there you go. Uh, subspace Radio Damage, now you can't listen to space tunes. Yeah, I'll have to break out my MP3 player instead, right? <laughs> you destroyed the cosmic arc. That's exactly right. Uh, thank you for streaming. You, uh, you are very welcome, Taro. Had a great time with it. Uh, Sarah, uh, Olmi, great to have you here. Thanks for being here today. It seems the 400 Mini doesn't have Forbidden Forest yet. Maybe that's one that we add to our list of game titles we should load to a uh, USB and plug in. That's one thing we are not doing today. We are not trying to use the... Let me unplug this so... We, do this I'm unplugging everything so you can see that we do have the USB slot on the back here that we can plug in a USB drive I had one kind of ready here uh, it had my Amiga software on there as you can see right there uh, I think I've got to spare one of these I need to put another little label on it that says Atari and start to put the, uh, some Atari titles on there uh, so I will start to do my research on what are the best games that you should be playing on this device. And uh, maybe that'll be our either our next live stream or the live stream next to that. Uh, I'm not sure uh, what the schedule looks like. So there you go. There is our view of the Atari 400 Mini. Very sweet, very fun. This, my friends, will be on this year's probably top pick of Christmas gifts for that retro computer fan in your life. I'm sure that will be on there when I publish that in November. Look at me, looking out to November. Can you believe that? Uh, what else do I have on tap? Well, don't forget, if you're a Mega 65 lover, uh, you can see my dev kit right here. This is my 
Mega 65 dev kit right here. I got my little Mega 65 mug back here. If you are that uh, fan of that or just Mega 65 curious, don't forget I'm doing a user's guide series. Uh, chapter one, chapter two have been released. The script for chapter three is done. The scripts take forever because I feel like I'm just rewriting the Mega 65 book in uh, a narrative format. And uh, so it takes a while to go through it, but I'm learning a lot about the Mega 65. I'm actually pretty excited about chapter three. I'm probably going to, I hope, fingers crossed, get the script recorded maybe this, pardon me, maybe this evening, or not this evening, maybe some evening this week, but for sure, during the weekend, or vice versa, I might do the B-roll. The nice thing about having a script is I have the B-roll. I know exactly what I need to capture from the Mega 65. So maybe I can come in after the paying gig, pop down here and do get all that done. And then if I can do the script over the weekend or narrate the script over the weekend, it's basically this shot right here, then I can piece all that together. Maybe by the following weekend, that'll be released. Anyway, those take a while. All of that to say they take a while. Uh, the, these you just don't spit out and they're gonna get more complicated as I go. Now, one thing I'm trying to figure out, there's a whole chapter on basic commands. And as you know, just in the Commodore computer, there's a lot of basic commands and that's a, that's a whole section. And I'm not sure how I want to attack that. I mean, I even had the weird idea that every single command would be a YouTube short. I mean, every, every command that's in the book, do I have the book with me? I don't think I have a manual with me, but every one of those little commands would be a short or my alternative is I would pick just the things that are unique to the Mega 65 and highlight those things that were new that we couldn't find in other versions of basic. So I've got two or three more chapters before I get to that, that I have to worry about. Uh, but love your, love your feedback. What do you think I should do? Should I do every command is a little short and just throw that as part of, which that would be cool because somebody could search online and say, how do I use the color command on the Mega 65? And they just get this one minute short video that shows them how to do that. Uh, and so you can have a whole series of these. I don't know. I'm still struggling with it, but you guys let me know. So that is it for now. I am going to uh, uh, log off from the video version of this, but I'm going to be in chat for a few, for a few more minutes, kind of clearing things out. If you have any last minute questions, comments, things that you would like to say in chat, please do that. Thanks for joining on a Sunday afternoon. Next live stream will be at least two weeks out, could be three weeks out because we've got some things coming up. We got uh, uh, Mother's Day coming up in, in the United States. I got some really busy weeks with the paying gig as we get close to graduate. All, just all kinds of stuff. So uh, just, again, all that to say that it, it could just stay tuned. Again, if you're a member of the channel through Buy Me A Coffee, you'll get all the updates in the Discord and keep, but you can also check out my Twitter at Stephen Combs and a lot of times I'll let you know what's happening there. But definitely the Discord folks and the members get the latest and greatest information about everything. They get some behind the scenes stuff. So again, I'd encourage you to kind of pop in at the uh, VIC 20 level if you want to join us in the Discord. It's actually a lot of fun in there. We got some really good stuff getting posted in there. So take a look at it. And uh, hey, big boy, Roy. I just saw you snuck in a uh, chat there in the last minute, man. You're just getting it right in at the last minute. Uh, glad to have you here. Thanks for joining the live stream today. Okay, everybody, that is it. Again, I'll be in chat for a little bit, but I am bugging out. See you guys, Retro Combs out. Good to have each and every one of you here for sure. Let's see if I can do this. All right, I think I can. Bye.